Oh, Retro Sake here. Today, we're going to play some Kirby's Adventure. I'm telling you what, I've been getting pumped for the new Kirby game coming out. And I thought, what better way to get yourself even more pumped than to go back to the original that I played? What I find interesting about this in searching for more information about this particular game was that Kirby's Adventure is actually not the first Kirby. The first Kirby came out on the Game Boy. And I find that interesting that a game that was very first developed was put onto the Game Boy prior to the Nintendo. While I'm chit-chatting here, you can read all of the information here and it'll tell you all of the power-ups that Kirby has available in the game. This game is full of power-ups and new abilities that on the Game Boy you just didn't have. I personally didn't play the Game Boy version until after playing the Nintendo version. And I feel like that's why the Game Boy got so little praise for how good the game really is, even on the Game Boy. Because once you've played this version, that Game Boy version, like most say, feels like a kitty version. I can say that while playing the Kirby's Adventure on the NES, a couple of things came to light for me. One of them being that I was so surprised that in my gameplay that I still had save time on here. And it looks like as if I've played it a couple of different times. I've never beat this game, but I believe that I've been farther than level 2. I could be wrong. Especially given the fact that about 10 minutes ago I decided to start playing it again and I got farther than level 2. So, I wanted to start from the beginning so you could see. But the thing that really, I don't know, just kind of made me think was I've had this game since I was probably 9, 10 years old. How in the world is the information still saved on it? Now, if you're not familiar with what goes on in the internals, of an NES game. I have opened this one up so you can see that the game board inside of it has this little battery. It's a little battery right there. Top right corner. And I was looking at the battery and it says that it's a CR... 20 and then it's kind of covered up. It looks like one of those old fashioned watch batteries, a CR2032. Is anybody else wondering how is this battery still working? Comment down below if you know why a 30 plus year old battery is still working. If you're Wondering what I use to open up my equipment and work on my equipment. I use the iFix set. You can look them up. I'm pretty sure they're on YouTube somewhere. If not, I bet you can find it on eBay. To be honest with you, I don't know where I found mine. But I really, really appreciate my set of iFix. Because... I fix it comes in this awesome setup with two drivers and then you have the choice between all of those adapters so you could work on a plethora of different electronic devices. One of the nicest things about I fix it, not I fix, I fix it, is that it's all magnetic, so there's no me losing 
the little tiny end of the screws in these Nintendo carts. But I don't want to go on too long here. Let's get into the game. Kirby in Kirby's Adventure starts in level one, Vegetable Valley. One of the coolest parts about Kirby is being able to get the sword. I am not the Kirby guru. I'm not the guy that you're going to go to and be like, give me all your Kirby advice and all your techniques and everything, because I don't know them. But I can tell you to inhale one of the enemies, you push the B button, and then if you want to see if that particular enemy had a weapon that you can copy into, you push down. Now, later on in the game, there's going to be times where you don't want that weapon, you want a different weapon. Say you want his weapon. Well, then what you would do is push select, and the little star leaves you, and then you can pick up the weapon off of that enemy. But, if, say, for some reason that enemy hits you, or you can't take his ability now, you want to hurry up and inhale that star that left you, because if you don't, then it will disappear after a certain amount of time, and then you'll just be normal Kirby. Nothing wrong with normal Kirby. He's got a lot of awesome upgrades. He's really cool being able to fly. You just push up, and all of a sudden you can just coast over most of this stuff. You can exhale, and he'll hurt an enemy. There we got hit, just to show that it's not a one-hit loss game. So that's super awesome. Let's go ahead and inhale this guy and take the fire ability so we can see fire is an ability that you can obtain as well and that's super awesome pushing a trying to get up higher on the levels i can't tell you what each one is for or what it does for you i wish i could i try not to come into these and know nothing i don't know nothing about the game but i do know some things in here, you have a little mini game called Crane Fever. Use the buttons to move the crane and try to get a Kirby. A big one's hard to get, but worth it. Well, what do you think we're going to go after? You hold down A, scrolls over top of the Kirby, let it go, and it does its thing. Let's hope for this big Kirby. We got a big Kirby first try! That a boy? That a boy? Go right on back. Get another Kirby. Maybe. I mean, I can't imagine us getting that little one all the way over there. Hold tight, Crane. Hold tight. Ah, it felt bad. It felt bad. Bonus. We got a big Kirby. That's two up. Pretty sweet, if you ask me. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head on over to stage two. Show that we can just get rid of that little bomb looking guy. I love the fire Kirby. He's one of my favorite. And then obviously sword Kirby's pretty cool too. That guy's pretty sweet. Being able to throw what I believe a disc. Let's go ride! Hey, go, Kirby, go! This game's just so much fun. The game came out in 1993. It was released March 23rd of 1993. <laughs> I'm gonna try to inhale one of his bombs. I've never tried that part. Yeah! See, Kirby's just awesome. He can do everything. He can go ahead and take the enemy's weapon and make it his own weapon. Oh, now we're crashed. I can tell you that I probably didn't mean to do that right there and then, like, but I don't care. That was awesome, and I'm glad everybody got to see it. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything up here. I don't really know if there's, like, hidden secrets in Kirby. 
Um, like I said, I, I played it some as a kid, but I didn't spend a lot of time playing it, and I should have, because what an awesome game. Like, just so many cool things about Kirby, especially just given the fact that he can pick up other enemies' weapons and turn them against them. Like, you name too many games that can do that. Like, because I don't know. I don't know many of them. Nothing. Let's see if we can get this guy, Sparky. Yeah, now we're a spark. Now we're powered back up. Not too shabby. Now, one of the uh, things that I found interesting about Kirby in my research of Kirby was that at the beginning of the intro in the game, you saw that it was developed by a company named HAL. H-A-W. HAL, short for Halkrin. Did I get that right? Halken. H-A-L-K-E-N. Halken, I'm sure you all know, has been part of making some amazing games. Just to name a few, they were part of Eggerland. They were part of Kirby. Little game called Mother. They also were part of and one of the major developers in the first two Smash Brothers. Oh no, I lost it. So, I got hit there and then if I wanted that weapon back, I was going to have to chase it down and inhale it back up and I didn't do it in time. Just get rid of that guy. You can't fall down the hole, Kirby! So there's one ability to die in this game. This would be the first time that I had died. I played it earlier with no problem and <laughs> didn't die at all, so it only goes to show that you put on the camera and you can die real easily. Get up here, get rid of that guy. Could have just flown over top of him too. I didn't have to go down there and get rid of them. It's just one of those things where sometimes getting rid of the bad guys is fun. You don't always have to. That guy's going wild. So how the corporation has obviously had their hands in some very amazing Nintendo games of my time. I can say that. I found that one of the most interesting things about HAL, the company, is where they came up with their name. They stated that the three letters in their name were the three letters keeping them one step ahead of IBM. You can do the math there to figure out what that means. I found that to be pretty interesting. Fireball! And then I lost it! <laughs> Gotta go out and around to get that power up. Go ahead and go on in here. I wish I had a better explanation of what that part is for and what it means. I pushed A and I haven't got too far or anything, so not too sure what you're supposed to do with that. Just wanted to check and see that there wasn't anything up here that I'm missing. Nope, doesn't look like it. Let's go into this mini boss room museum. Here is the colorful display of enemies with special abilities. Eat the one you want. I mean, there's only one. And right now I have fire. So here's that example of get rid of that. Suck up that guy. And now I can have the sword. Choo -choo! He looks, looks so majestic with that sword. Go Kirby, go. So we beat level three 
And now we're heading into level four. Don't know why you would climb that area whenever you don't have to. Go ahead and collect up his little ice that he's going to throw at me. Oh, I guess I can't really collect it. I can just spit it back at him. And... Freeze! So check me out. I'm going to freeze some stuff. Shoo! This is one of the coolest ones. I mean... He can freeze everything and then shoot it across the whole entire screen. That's awesome. Go ahead and head on in here. Wait for that guy to come down. There we go. All right. Whoa, rude. Want my freeze ability back. Sparky, get up on out of here. Well, I thought for sure I hit him in time. No, he... <laughs> he didn't make me. It's just... I wasn't... Needle. Oh! I'm, I don't think I've ever collected that in the time that I've been playing this. That is so awesome. Like, he's like a little porcupine. Oh no, get it back! Thank goodness. I can still be Needle. I'm not getting any better than 7 or 6, so I don't think that's very good. For retro sake. Looks like we're about to go to a boss. I don't know, I sure wish I had more power. I feel like it's not a... That's how it's done. That's how it's done. For retro sake. Woo! There's 41 levels in Kirby with seven worlds. So there's... Plenty of gameplay here. I want to I wanna go back for a second because I don't know what this part is here. Obviously, maybe that's something that I get later. I feel like what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this game for a while. Then we're going to come back and we're going to finish it up too. Why not? Like, why not just beat the whole game? Like... Now, I don't know this, but I think you can collect up those little umbrellas, and you can fly with the umbrella, too. Like I said, I'm not the Kirby guru, so I'm not going to pretend like I know something that I'm, I don't know. We're going to go ahead and just go above that, because... Bye, seashell! <laughs> That's okay. We can't be the needle forever. I'd much rather have a different weapon like the sword. That's an awesome spin move Kirby's got on him. Now, I'm not too sure how that guy managed to hit me. But that's okay, because we got our sword back. Maybe you just don't want to be anywhere near him?
Thankfully, that time we were faster and shot him right away. These guys just look like a trap waiting to happen, so we're just going to go ahead and go on in here. Oh, that looks like the... I wish I could be the tornado and the sword at the same time. That would be awesome. Alright. We'll just be the tornado now, then. Awesome. I don't know if anybody knows about Tasmanian Devil anymore, but that's all that reminds me of, is being the Tasmanian Devil. Ooh, barely making it to five. I'm okay with that. I mean, is there anything down by the water? I wonder why there's like a little section down here. Thankfully, Kirby doesn't run out of oxygen. Egg catcher. Press the buttons to make Kirby's mouth open. Try to eat eggs, but not bombs. This should be interesting. What a cool little cutscene. Ooh. The one thing I'm not supposed to do is eat a bomb. And the very first thing I did, eat a bomb. This is like second grade all over again. Don't touch that. As in, touch it right away? Is that what you mean? Okay. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the content. If so, give me a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I play a lot of NES games, and I'm not always, you know, the king of these games or anything. I don't know. I, I think I gotta get rid of my tornado. I don't know. Now I don't know about that. That's... I'm not getting anywhere. What am I missing? Alright, well let's do this. We figure it out. We figure it out here. This is for retro sake. Yeah, let's go. Let's go floating around. Almost looked like a little Mario floor in there. Whoa. Some real intenseness going on here. Now, I wonder why all these guys are stuck in here. And what you're supposed to do about that. I feel like I was supposed to do something with them. Ooh. Awesome. Hey, don't be throwing your tires at me. I can say that it's a little harder to control Kirby whenever he's the tornado. But it is a lot of fun. <laughs> well, that was an interesting level. Last time I played, I don't remember going there, but that doesn't mean that I'm just forgetting. Get up above five! Come on, man, there's got to be something up above five. I know there is. I don't know it. I feel it. Another little mini game here. Crane Fever again. Gotta love the Crane Fever. We're going to go ahead and try to get that big Kirby again. See if we can't do it. I think we can. Hold tight, little crane. That wasn't tight, little crane. You let go. You got it. Come on. Right above his face. Drop down. Grab, hold tight. Don't let go. Not by the feet. 
Come on, Crane. Kill him, Crane. No bonus. It's sad. It feels sad. We're gonna go over here and just look. I gotta know. So, in Kirby's Adventure, they just drop sections on the lobby. Is what I'm gonna guess that that is. Is just a lobby stage. I don't really know if I can be down there, so we're just gonna scoot on right on over that since I have a flying ability. Can't go up there yet. Oh, when you have a power up, you gotta remember to inflate yourself for those sections. Not too sure what you would need up there, why why there's a ladder, but you know, each his own. Easy, 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 Kirby. Easy, easy, easy. It's scaring me, bro. Now, one thing I can say that I'm thankful for right now is that there's not a timer. Because if there was a timer, I don't know what I would do right now. A little tricky spot there. Trying to get through. Go ahead and go underwater there, Curbs. Don't you be trying to get me a little fishy. Fishy that could. That's alright, I'll just go past you. I ain't concerned with you. I got no business with you. I'm just gonna let him be himself down there. <laughs> Move on past that. Yeah. Let's, uh... How do we... Hmm. There's gotta be a secret in here somewhere to get that. I just ran out of there. I was like, nah, I ain't having none of that. I got lit up. I got lit up again by that guy with his magic forks. No! No! You dead! You dead, Curb! You dead! Time to do it again. Well, this is definitely more interesting. I can say that. Then... Yeah, get out of here. And you and Magic Forks. I ain't having it. Oh, uh, Magic Forks getting me again. Magic's fork Magic Forks got you down. Don't worry. I know how you feel. I guess that was it. Not too shabby. It was difficult, but I mean, nothing too difficult. Get these guys to maybe go this way over here with me a little bit. You guys want to come over here? Little fishy, little fishies. Come on. Come on. I just want to get that medicine bottle. It was worth it. I mean, I didn't gain anything at all for getting it, you know. But it's okay. It was worth it. Yes! Yes! Got the three. That's all right. By me. Oh, Retro Sake here enjoying himself playing some Kirby's Adventure. I hope you're enjoying yourself too. Hope you're enjoying getting to see a little bit of the very first Kirby on NES. 
As we spoke earlier, it wasn't the very first. Oh, we're definitely doing laser. Yep. Phew! <laughs> Killed that fireman. <laughs> the very first Kirby was on the Game Boy. Yeah, I'll just, you know. I think I have none of that. Ooh, I tried to fall. I wonder if you can just go past that. Like, what else is there? That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. These guys are trying to kill me. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I've never really just went past one of the sections, so I was interested to see if I just went by if there was another door. And there is, so that's pretty cool. There's got to be something else going on with this section here where, like, these guys are, like, stuck. Just keep shooting him. Just keep shooting him. Just keep shooting him. Wait, is he dead? I think I wanted that, and I accidentally got rid of it. I have this bad habit of still shooting whenever I should just go collect it. Wait, now we're going down? Alright. Time, time to head... Head south. Can't hit that guy, though. I wonder... Nice. That's awesome. Figuring out a little secret in Kirby's adventure. Those bombs are shooting a lot faster this time around. Same thing again. I want to see if I go past this area. If there's another door that... Ooh, I mean, just by my little puffkin. I didn't push it fast enough. <laughs> so, I did find one thing that I found in this storyline interesting is that it says that at the beginning that King Didi stole the star rod and broke it up into pieces. I still have the laser, so I don't really know. I don't know why I would want any one of these, so I'm just going to go ahead and go on out. Um, this looks interesting. The arena. Two fighters go in, but only one will leave. You can get a tomato and an ability for a win. Um, what I was getting ready to say was, in the storyline, it says that King Didi stole the star rods and gave it to his friends. In most games, the person that steals something is considered the minion, not friends. I'm going to go back in there and see if this... Alright, I just want to see if I can gain an ability from this, bro. What? Jumping on over me like that. Be jumping. That's right. I know your trickeries. Yeah. That's right. Now I can be a freeze. And I got me a mater. So, as I was saying, when reading about this game more, it says that Nightmare is actually 
who is disrupting Dreamland, and that King Didi was actually just trying to save Dreamland. So, if this is true, this whole entire time, wish I could do something to beat that, but I can't. That means that Oh. Oh, that was a bad spot, too. We'll just go ahead and get through that, and then call it a day. <laughs> that means that this whole time I'm after King Didi, and really, he ain't a bad dude. He's just trying to save his friends and the area. And unfortunately, Kirby don't know no different. Like... Let's go ahead and go on up in here. It looks like I can go further, but I want to see what's in here. So... Oh man, you can be a wheel! I don't ever remember being a wheel! And now I won't stop being a wheel! <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to stop, but it's not letting me. Okay. Sleep? No, that's not... That's not... That's not an ability, Kirby. Rude. Now all this happened because I wanted to figure out if I could get something down in here. So we're going to do it anyways now. And I can't even get past that guy. Big ol' poopy. That guy's trying to hit me still. And he did. I'm trying to die in this level because I just wouldn't move on with my life. Nintendo telling you don't go back. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I want this little birdie. High jump. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Literally what it says. A high jump. The abilities that you can gain in this game. I don't know if this is true, but what I read was there's like 40 abilities total in the game. I don't know if that's absolutely true. I, I obviously have not gained them all. Parasite. All right. Parasail. Parasail. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the sword, but at the same time, it'll be easier to just collect the sword <laughs> and then move on. The background is messing with me right now. Like, I feel like there's parts where I should fall down or not fall down, and then there's certain areas where, like, I thought it was a door like this. That's why I was trying to go there at first. Alright, this is interesting. Not too sure if there's only one direction that I want to go, because I don't want to activate those things. Yeah, look at that guy, like ruining my life. Alright, I'm trying to go down here and get this... Yeah. Get my juicy juice. And get some maters. I, last time I turned into a tomato. This time it's blowing me up. What else? Push A! Push A! like every time I'm not realizing that it's the end of the level. Wake up! Oh, retro sake. No. I mean, if it's gonna let me do this again, I'll do it. Gotcha! Right in the head! Uh, I decided to slide kick him instead of jumping, so that's cool. Yep. 
I'll take a freeze ability again. Why not? It's not always the most advantageous one, but, you know. I wonder if I can still go in here and get something. Oh, yeah. So, I think I'd much rather have the fire. Fire seems to be pretty sweet. All right. Well, I believe that... Well, this... I want to see what this is. Warp Star Station. This star will take you to another stage. Hop on a star with a number. And let's go. Oh, no. I don't want to do that. So that's cool. That's maybe why the other one wasn't open yet. Is because I hadn't even beat stage two yet. All right. So... I don't want to sit around and wait for this person to attack me, but at the same time... No, 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 no. No, 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 on the bomb. I just keep letting her hit me. Him. I don't know why I think it's a her. Like, it's not like it said anything like that. Yeah! Microphone it up, baby! Check one, check two. We did it! Well, full retro sake here. This has been Kirby's Adventure. Stage one, stage two. I hope you've enjoyed it. Give me a like in the video if you did. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And check out some of my old videos. I beat Contra with just the regular rifle. I've been playing through Streets of Rage 4, which I know is not retro to some of you. But unless you played it on the Sega like me, it is very retro. I've been playing some Hot Wheels. I've played Guerrilla War. Punch out. We need to go back to Punch Out and see if we can beat some Mike Tyson, don't we? I believe we do. Well, oh, retro sick here. Have a great day.